Kelly here and today we are going to be making a that's right roar it's a lion <laughs> we're going to be making a lion face out of a paper plate so we're going to need obviously a paper plate we are also going to need some yellow or orange paint brown paint black paint and either you can use some pink paint for the nose or some pink paper or even pink felt if if you have it lying around but i am going to be using pink paper today and googly eyes so we need some googly eyes scissors pencil if you want and um some glue yeah so first off i'm going to grab my yellow paint so i'm going to do a yellow face with a nice brown amber colored mane okay so i'll grab my paint brush i'm going to use my thicker one today so I can cover it up and yep, dip it in and just get painting, paint away. And you just need to fill up the middle section all with that yellow paint. And you can go to the edges if you want, give it some extra texture. Go, paint, 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 all the way around. It's the king of the jungle, lion. I might call mine Simba like the Lion King. And perfect. So when you're done, the whole thing should be either your yellow or your orange or whatever you're gonna do the face color so mine's yellow yay so the whole thing's yellow next thing we're gonna do is we're going to grab the brown so i'm using the brown burnt amber color um just acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the outside so just to where the plate starts to dip a little bit so I will grab another paintbrush, or you can wash the same one, but I'm just going to grab this one. And I'm just going to paint the out earth's layer. Make sure I get all the way around. Yeah, perfect. Side, get all those little crevice parts. All those little bumps, get the paint in there and make sure it looks nice and circle around where the face will be. Doesn't have to be perfect, but yeah, just however you want. So I've made mine a little bit smaller face, bigger mane. It's up to you. So that's what it looks like so far. The next part is we are going to do the well, we're going to mark where we want to put the nose. So I'm going to put the nose 
almost center, just a little bit under where I would say center is. So there. I'm going to stick my nose right there. Okay, so to make my nose, I'm going to use, just wiping my hands so I don't get paint all over my pink paper. Just using some baby wipes. They're always helpful. You can just use water or tissue. Whatever works best for you. And we'll grab pink paper and push this aside so we don't get any paint on it. And we're going to make a nose for our lion. And we're going to make it a love heart because he's a happy, loving lion. So I'm just going to draw a little love heart. I'm drawing it big because then I can always make it smaller after. Because I find that's easier. So there's my little love heart. And I'm just going to cut him out. possible. Perfect. And done. There's my little nose. And now I'm going to see if it's too big or if it's just perfect. I think it's a big nose for him, but I kind of like that. So I'm just going to stick it there over where I had previously put the um, pencil marking. So you can use glue or if your paint isn't dry yet, you can just press it on and it will stick with that paint. Okay, and now we're going to do the mouth. And I think I'm going to make it a nice big happy line. Uh, so you can either use the black paint or you can use the brown paint that you use for the main. I am going to use black paint today. So grab my paintbrush, a nice small paintbrush so I can get better detail. Actually, I'm going to first pencil it out so I don't make any mistakes. And giving it a big smile. And a couple little freckles where his whiskers would come out from. So I penciled that in and now I'll just paint it with the black. So getting some black on the paintbrush, just trying to be careful to get along those pencil lines that I just drew. Little smiley face. You can always use black texture as well if your um, face is already dry. But if it's not, paint is the easier way to go. Um, or you can just wait till it dries. It always works as well. And a little smiley face. There we go. And there you go. That's my little smiley face. Happy little lion. And I'll just do this little freckles, boop, 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 boop. Hmm. He's got some little freckles there as well. You don't have to do the freckles. I just wanted to. Um, next, we get the googly eyes. 
So I've got the big googly eyes because you know how much I love my googly eyes. And what we do is we get the glue and we put some glue on the back of the googly eye and we stick it on. Whoop. <laughs> and another googly eye. And stick it on the other bit. There we go. Oh, doesn't he look so cute so far? <laughs> and now what we want to do to give him a bit more of a 3D look, we are going to cut little slits all the way around the mane. So the mane can get this 3D look. So just grab our scissors again. So just cutting just to where, before where the um, face part starts, just getting the mane. And we just cut all the way around. Whee. Snip, snip. Snip, 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 snip. Snip, snip. Oh. So almost halfway, have to go all the way around. Slowly but surely. Long time to keep snipping. We can do it. Snip, 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 snip. And done. So then we can push some frontwards, backwards, just spread them apart a bit. There we go. And it gives us this cool 3D look. Roar! Isn't he cute? So that is how we can make a lion's head from a paper plate. I hope you enjoyed making the lion with me and I look forward to having another Kids Create play date with you guys soon. Bye kids!